Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. Time for another Iconics kit build. I've been excited to put this together. It's finally here. I'm building Big Ben. The Iconics kits are the larger kits. They're more detailed, they're larger, and a little bit more complicated, at least in some ways. But this one fascinates me. The Big Ben fascinates me. So let's open this up, see what's inside, and carefully put it together. Big Ben Iconics. Big kit in the usual larger box. And oh, let's see how oh, there's tape. I knew there was tape. I forgot where the tape was. Cut the tape. Cut the tape. There we are. Let's open up. Slide it out. We have the metal sheets and the instructions. We also have another pair of tweezers. These are nice to have. I like these tweezers, they work fairly well. We have the big sheet of instructions and two metal sheets with which to build our big bin. Set this to the side and open up the instructions. One big sheet of paper. We have our fairly familiar line drawing. The blue circle and green triangle. Blue means to fold the tab. Green means to twist the tab. Some information about tabs, slots, fold lines. And we come down to this box, and we have one of the metal sheets. We'll take a moment to find that. We have one of the metal sheets pictured here, and it has the different part numbers for you to find the parts. And then if we slide over to the assembly steps, honestly, you still have another metal sheet and more parts. Put these back to the side. And we begin with step one. And some tips on how to bend this stuff. And just follow parts one, two, three, basically the assembly flow chart. Step two, build that. Come down to this bottom quarter. Step three, step four, step five on this quarter. Now you're at the bottom of the front page. Flip it over, go back to the top left, step six, just kind of follow the squiggly arrows, so here, 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 over to step seven, step eight, step nine, and then down to the bottom left quarter, ten, step eleven, over here, step twelve, and we'll be all done tools that I will use in this build. I have my standard set of tools. We have the long needle nose pliers. We have the flat nose pliers, great for a multitude of bending and twisting and grabbing. We have clippers. I um, absolutely have to have clippers. It helps get the parts off the trees quite easily. I have a set of precision tweezers with one with very pointed end. One has had the pointed end ground down slightly and a flat set. And I have a fairly standard set of tweezers that actually came in one of the Iconics kits that I bought. When it comes to shape and parts, I have an assortment of different things to use. I have dowel rods that I've used for quite some time. A couple of them have had the ends sharpened with a pencil sharpener, which are great for making cone shapes. I have an inexpensive drill bit set with a lot of different sized bits to help with forming cylinder shapes. I also have a couple of step mandrels. I'm not saying you need all of this, but these are different tools that I've acquired and I kind of go back and forth depending on the situation. Bent nose pliers, very handy. Great for grabbing the edge of parts and bending them over when needle nose pliers won't do it by themselves or reaching in sometimes in strange areas and twisting tabs. On rare occasion, I find these quite useful. These are a locking clamp, forceps, Kelly clamps. I've heard them called a diff lot of different names. They have ridges, so I don't use them a lot because they can scratch the metal, but they're great for grabbing small parts. I can lock them 
so they won't open and guide things into place. And sometimes we'll reach into deep areas to twist tabs. We've got our two big metal sheets, our instructions for the Iconics kit, and some tools. Let's put this together. I did it again. I neglected to restart the camera when I started building, so I missed a little bit. I missed attaching parts one and two together, which is really straightforward. Just bend the folds 90 degrees and attach the two together twisting the tabs. Then just push the sides in to give it a little bit of a curve. Next I use the tip of something to push the little window frames out. I strongly suggest holding on to the borders of the metal with tweezers or pliers while you bend over the flap and tab. If not, it could possibly warp. The instructions did not indicate just what angles the corner pieces were to be bent as, and as of this build there is still no 360 degree view online. I had to make my best guess. It finally occurred to me that a dowel rod or drill bit might make rounding these parts a bit easier. You can see here that I accidentally put that on upside down. That's going to come back to haunt me.
It was at this point that I realized I had put the side parts on upside down. Fortunately, I was able to pull it apart and fix it. I waited until I had the tower together to twist the diamond shapes under the clock face. I did not want to accidentally bend them back and forth while I was handling it and break one off. I was unsure as to which way to fold the tabs on the roof. I did ultimately figure out that they bend out because the roof connects on the inside of the walls.
This video has been edited down. I've not shown all the different attempts, adjustments, or retries of this build. I also clip out parts where I am studying directions, searching for and clipping parts, and sometimes repetitive steps. It may make this kit look like it comes together easier than it did, but there are a lot of bending and adjusting of parts to make things fit. Work slowly, be patient, and take your time. I originally tried twisting the tabs on the side column pieces, but found it easier to just push and bend the tabs over to hold it in place.
It took quite a number of attempts to get all three different sections attached to the base. I spent several minutes after completion going around and attempting to straighten out all the little thin pieces. I also discovered I missed a part and attached it as best I could. Ladies and gentlemen, the Big Ben Iconics build. Very nice. This is not just the little Big Ben by itself like the regular kit. This also has Westminster Palace included in it. So it's a much more, much more of a kit. And more impressive, more detail. That's what Iconics is all about. There's more intricate bits and bobs are put together but really out of the three and I've only done three iconic so far unfortunately out of the three that I've done this is easily easily the simplest you have a lot of repetitive steps putting these little bits on here and on the side once you get the hang of it it goes faster the corner pieces on the tower very tricky I wasn't exactly sure how to curve them and I still cannot refer to the online 360 view it just comes up coming soon so I did my best and the towers out here on the sides they were not hard to figure out I was able to shape them easily with a, the right size drill bit and again once you get started and you've done two and three the rest of them just kind of fall into place so a nice easier iconics build any questions or comments please leave them down below Thank you for watching and keep on keeping on.